What is going on YouTube? EDM Adam here. This week is a bit of a down week. Not quite as much in just terms of like volume. However, we do have a couple of big names that came out with stuff this week. Didn't catch any major album releases either. I'm still working on getting that Casbo video up along with a few others that might be in the works. But let's jump into this week's new music. Mountains, Lost Kings. Ooh, I like that riser. Ooh. All right. You guys know I'm a sucker for those modulated wobbly synths of future bass. Uh, the drop could have been a little longer though. This is one of those like really chilled out tracks but still has like an interesting, interesting like attentive drop to it. Reminds me of Lewis the Child a bit. The drop's really not that complex. Like you've got that main synth, it's nice like vocal chops laid into it. Kick and clap and that's it. Simple but effective. All right, feel something. This is Armin Van Buren's newest track. Is it just me or is there like eight songs named Feel Something? So far, very different sound. Very like, poppy. And not in the sense, cause like, he's usually kind of in that like mainstream progressive house style or trance. But this this feels just like a, like a pop, like radio kind of track. I'd rather feel something. Yeah, I'll pass. Fragile, Arm & Hammer. I will say the album artwork on this is really cool. I really like the drums in the in this uh, build up. I want to say this is promising, but I don't want to jinx it. Wow, the bass line's really nice. Love the arpeggiator, really nice touch. Yo, what an interesting build because like the way it was going, you thought you were gonna get like this like really energetic, like almost like, I don't wanna say high tempo, but they broke it down to like that halftime feel and it worked so nicely. And like, another thing I like about this, it's like very melodic and soft, but the, the drop, if we wanna call it that, actually kind of has a heavy amount of bass to it. It's just very light and melodic at the same time. Oh, okay. Different sound here. Not crazy about the four on the floor. Yeah. More fan of this. Ooh, I love these chords already. Oh, what does that remind me of? Really brassy. It almost has like a big room feel, like in the like like the atmosphere is like a big room, but not you know the whole vibe and tempo obviously. I guess that's more a choice of reverb than anything. Honestly, I think I like the intro and like the bridges more. The drop's okay, but it's like not it's not like super interesting. I take that back. I said brassy. It's more like metallic sounding than anything. Not bad. Oh, we got aftertaste. Mahalo. Okay. Kind of like a little tribal deep house feel going on. Yeah, I kind of like these like tribal like vocal swells. Oliver Heldens and Max set me free. Oh, this already sounds good. We're gonna get some future house, maybe? I love this lead synth so far. Yes. It kind of has a slower vibe than I thought it would. Like, there's a lot of space to it. like a little bit of Motown feel here. Yeah, I would like to hear like a little more, like like a higher LFO rate, you know? You definitely could have done a little bit more, but it's very, it's like tasteful. Right, I missed this last week, Violence, Tristam. Um, one of the earlier artists I listened to in EDM, so we definitely have to cover this. We, uh, all you drum step Monster Cat fans should be familiar. 
like the piano. It's a little quiet though. This build is very different. Huh. Yeah, everything about this is really soft. Like intentionally toned down. Very nice filter. Yeah, like the mix though, it just sounds like... It sounds intentionally off. I, that's the best way I can describe it. Happy where we are, Tritonal and AU5 and Dylan Matthew, who uh, is the vocalist on First Time with Seven Lions. So this is quite the collab right here. If I had to bet which song is going to be Song of the Week, I would probably bet on this one. But Tritonal is usually house, so I don't know what we're going to get out of this. Oh yes! Let's go! Nice! There's AU5! Sneak in some of the wubs! Nice! Percussion really clean! Now will the second drop be the same is the question. a bit of like an electric guitar feel in here. Oh, nice. I would love to see AU5 and Seven Lions collab. I feel like their styles would go really well together. That was a really cool um, little project. I feel like AU5 did a lot of the legwork on it. Um, everything he touches is just so clean. All right, we got Zoo featuring 24K Gold. synth at the end is so raw. Like that sounds like something I first used in GarageBand like six years ago. But this grinding bass, oh. Damn is right. This is a cool like, kind of like hip hop trap crossover. And then we get the electric guitar out. What's with that? That's twice this week. This is a little different for Zoo, right? I feel like this is a unique track. He hasn't really delved much into like that like trap realm. Very, very cool. I think that's gonna have to be Song of the Week. This is a Song of the Week. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I know this week wasn't a ton of new music, but stay tuned. I'm gonna try to be catching up on some EPs and album releases. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, shameless plugs, you know the deal, and I will see you guys soon.